Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a landscape. First thing I'm going to do is put one finger on the left and put a dot, one finger on the right, put a dot, one finger on top, put a dot, and one finger on the bottom, put a dot. Going back to the left, I'm going to do curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Come on the right. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Now on the top, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, and now on the bottom, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, you're there, and connect. Because we're making a frame. So in every corner, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out to the corner of each one of my sides. And now I'm going to come in, and starting on the left, I'm going to draw a big curve line down. In the middle, big curve line down. One more big curve line down. I come up on the top, and I draw a straight line on the left, straight diagonal up straight diagonal down, straight line all the way down, come back up to the top, straight line over, straight line down, right here at this section, straight line across. I'm going to put one, two, three straight lines, come up on the top, one, two, three straight lines. I'm going to add a little curve line with an overlap curve line and a little curve line at the top. I come to the middle one section and I'm going to go one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. I go back to the first set and I draw curve lines, connect, curve lines, connect, curve lines, connect. I come way on the left hand side and I draw little curve lines, connect an overlap, little curve line connect. Straight curve line, little straight lines across, one dot, two dots, little curve line, little curve line. Now I come back down here and I put curve lines going across on this one section. You can draw as many as you want. On the middle part, I'm going to do some shapes. So I'm going to do triangles, circles, hearts, squares, repeat. Triangle, heart, squares, circles. You can make any designs as you like. You just want to fill in this one space with a little bit of each one. And now in this last section, I'm just going to put some more curved lines across dividing up my space into different sections. Now this looks kind of busy and now I'm going to make it even busier. I come up on my frame and I'm going to add baby circles all the way across. And this is kind of symmetrical, so whatever I do on the top, I'm going to come down and do on the bottom. So I add those baby circles all the way across. And I'm going to divide up my sides with some straight lines. You can make any design you want. The main objective is to make a pattern. So whatever you do, you want to make sure that it ties in with what you've already done. All the way across. And I'm just going to add a couple of birds. Curve lines, curve lines. Okay, let's see what this is going to look like colored in. Okay, this is really fun to color in, but it might take you more than one session. So I'm going to use some unusual colors, like I'm going to make a pink sky. I'll come in and do traditional brown for my tree trunks. I'll use my greens for above, but I also want to use my green as a color 
to connect my three little hills here. You can always color your sun yellow. You might want to do a little yellow door color in your house. I use the primary colors red, yellow, and blue. And pretty much everything else is left up to you. Now because there are so many things to color what you might want to do is take your time. First do the drawing, then come back do the coloring for one part, one section, come back and do it again for the other section so that you don't get tired. Let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my landscape all colored in. You can use as many colors as possible. That's the way it looks best. Take your time, don't rush it, and it looks spectacular when it's all finished. Okay, bye-bye.